This is the Manfrotto tripod. To begin, open up the bungee and pull out the tripod. The first step to using this tripod is to open up the legs, like so. Now, we can extend the legs out. Pull this back and slowly pull it out. You can also extend it even farther, but that won't be needed right now. We do this to all of the legs. This is a common problem I find with this tripod. Sometimes the legs slide out, but this is an easy fix. We can just grab the leg, align it back, making sure it's on tight enough, then we push it into place and it's back on. It's as simple as that. We can pull this part and pull the leg back and it extends even farther. No matter if you have a table here, maybe somebody's holding it and getting a nice glide on here, it doesn't matter. It's one of the best ways to use this tripod and makes it very versatile. Something I commonly see people doing is they use the tripod like this when there's actually an easier way. You simply just pull out this piece pull out the other side, and you've got a lot more room to work with now. Now the most important thing about a tripod is how do you put it on a camera? This is a really good tripod, and it's really easy to take off this plate. You pull this back, push this button down, and you pull this piece out. Now the cool thing about this is that it actually has this little piece. You can just pull out, and then if we grab a camera, align it, looking for where you want the lens to be going. The lens should be going as it says this way, or this way, depending on which direction you're using it in. So we line it up, make sure it's going the right way, and then, we just twist this piece on. Now putting it back on the actual tripod, we also, we just slide it in. Make sure this bottom piece is pulled down. We can feel it go into place. And we just push this till it's nice and tight. And we've got our working tripod. Now how do we loosen the tilt? This is a good question. You can easily just twist counterclockwise and your tilt is so much easier to do. Now the same goes for your rotation. Simply just twist counterclockwise and your angle is just so easy to move. This also goes for the swivel. We can easily swivel this by loosening this and now you can get an easy swivel. To pan smoother, take a rubber band, which I always have one in my camera bag. Put it around, you let the rubber band do all the work. Now, you may be thinking, oh, this is way too low. I need to go even higher. You could easily just loosen the leg at the bottom, go even higher, or extremely fast. Look at that thing. Then we wanna loosen that all the way, and then we can just hold by the top or hold by the bottom and you just lift up and that bottom piece just goes all the way up. Then you can tighten that again. Now your camera is just so much higher up there. Some cool tricks you can do with this is you can actually pull back this leg, as I was saying earlier, pull it all the way back. And now you have a tilt where you could tilt it all the way down or do a reveal. You can incorporate with this with many different things. Now the final trick involves me. So with this trick, you only need one leg. So the camera has extra stabilization. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. I've been recording with the DJI mic this entire time. If you wanna watch that video, just click up here. If you wanna see this camera, that video will be very soon, but it's not going to come out yet because it's going to be a very long video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.